Can generic snacks school the name brands? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Opening a lunchbox packed with snacks in school is like uncovering a treasure chest, man. You don't know what you're gonna get, but you hope that mama did you right. Meaning you hope to see sugar and trans fats and colorful packaging. Yeah, and you hope to see the name brand versions too, mama. Yeah, and we thought we could tell the difference, and we still do. It's time for Knock Off Knockout School Snacks Edition. In each and every round, we will have four lunch or after school snacks in front of us, and one's gonna be a big name brand version of the snack, and the others are gonna be store brand or generic. Okay, generic, yep. The knockoff versions of that same snack. We're gonna be competing to correctly guess the generic, no, the nope. name brand. Name brand. And we know it's generic if you've already commented that. It's a joke. Whoever wins gets to become the bestest little schoolboy in good mythical more. School's in session. Now you know that I was a bring my lunch boy. <laughs> Oh yes. And you were uh, mostly, you would you would do the school lunch thing. I love school lunch. So do you remember that I would have applesauce pretty much every day? And I'm pretty sure it was Mott's, which we're looking for so now. So if you get this wrong, four. you should walk away in shame. I really think I'm gonna be able to nail this. And also, I mean, I just, if you don't win this game, you should be sh ashamed of yourself. This is all I'm just, I I'm ate. I'm setting it up because every single thing we're gonna have is something that you brought to school every single day. I didn't have regular Mott's. I had the apple cinnamon flavor. And I liked it so much that the, the spoon wouldn't get it all. You'd have to stick your tongue down in there like an anteater. Oh, trust me, I remember. Oh, that's good. Um, I, I haven't, applesauce is not a part of my life anymore. It should be. It should be. be. Well, it will be. Just let that happen okay. naturally, okay? <laughs> you don't need to rush applesauce back into your life. Let it happen on its own time. They, ta they taste very different. The first one is uh, chunkier. Second one is smoother, a lot smoother. Okay. Mm -hmm. This one's more middle of the road, less sweet. That one doesn't have any sugar in it, hardly at yeah. all. Not very tasty. They're all pretty, pretty good though, I mean. Wow, that, super apple. That is so apple-y that it's kind of crazy. All right, I'm just going with my first instinct because I have had Mott's applesauce, but this, not a whole lot of it. Uh, I'm gonna bet all my lunch boxes on this one. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> okay, so you agree. You, you, Reto had some Mott's I in mean, his day. This was a- It's gotta be. The All the other ones had no nostalgia. This had a nostalgic taste. Nostalgic taste. Wow, Mott's really bringing it. It is in bowl number two. Okay. The other applesauces are 365 by Whole Foods. A little too thick. Good and Gather by Target. Tasteless. No flavor. And Great Value by Walmart. Too apple. Apple to the maximally. I ball, you ball, we all ball for cheese balls. Uh -huh. In this case, we're spe specifically trying to find uh, Planters cheese balls. Now, which I, I had I, in, my, now, in my box. I had not, I didn't have them in my box. You had them in the can. I had at them home. at home. I had a can of these at home. So. These look light on the cheese and they're a smaller ball. It's got, it's a kind of a cheese puff. That's a disappointment. It's a big ball right here. Bigger, cheesier than number one. Crunchier. Better. That's good. I approve of that cheese ball. That's a good cheese ball. Now, these. Look like tater tots. And they have a lot of orange on them. Twice as orange as, as number two, which is the next most orange. Super cheesy. Ooh, wow. That is tasty. I just don't remember how big the balls were. Those are good. My balls were constantly growing. Let's go to three. These As I grew up, so I had nothing to compare them to. These are light. Except the other ball, which was also growing. We never compared balls, is what I'm saying. I'm staying out of it. Well, these actually, these will sneak up on you. They got a good taste. They don't look like they'll taste good. Can I clarify, not about your balls. Can, can mm. I clarify about Link's lunch choices? Yeah. You're saying you stuck to basically the same lunch Two every day, and it included Mott's applesauce and Planter's cheese balls? Because we didn't like collude behind the scenes to give you like your perfect school lunch. No, I, I had a rotation. Cheese balls 
came in and out of fashion. The Mott's was pretty much a staple. And that's why that was very easy for me. I have a guess. This is, this is, um, this is difficult. It is not easy. Three, two, one. Bam. It could be these. Yeah, I was debating between these two. I went with the one that hit the nostalgia note the most. Me too. It was down to this and those actually for me. The planters cheese balls are in bowl number three. These are the best ones. This one. I just didn't remember yep. them being this I cheesy. Didn't, I, they made them cheesy over time. It, it, these these both tasted similar, but I just thought those tasted more familiar. Yeah, I think you're right. I think they upped the cheese factor with, with the advent of competition. Who when do we, we have? When we were kids, they so were the, doing no cheese. The others are Market Pantry by Target. Horrible. Bad. Now that's cheesy by Kroger brand. Kroger <laughs> brings it every time. Kroger got some big balls. And <laughs> Signature Select by Safeway. They, Safeway, they got a good taste. Playing it safe with the cheese, but yeah, it's way good. Mm. Hey, we launched the Mythical Society exactly three years ago today. Wow. Uh, and the society has grown so much since then and we're excited to continue to see it grow. It's such a special community. We're adding exclusive perks for members all the time. So thank you if you're a member of the society. Uh, all of you members together make it an incredible place. Yes, and in celebration of our anniversary and to welcome some new members in, during the entire month of February, any purchase of third degree annual plans will receive their choice of one of the past 2021 quarterly items. So anything we gave away last year, those four different quarterly items, while the supplies last, you can grab one of those if you sign up for a third degree Annual, is that what I said? Third that degree annual plan, yes. Mythicalsociety.com for details. It's the only way to get those things that have been gone. All right, pudding. This was another staple. I would have pudding and you, applesauce you, 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 here's every day. You didn't just have pudding at school, you had pudding at home. There was like, it, it, yeah. your day was bookended by pudding. Jello chocolate pudding, to be exact. Sometimes I, I would go with the uh, swirl. I feel like you could get this without even tasting, just by looking. Don't, don't make me nervous. That's good in pudding. Yeah, it's good. Chocolatey, smooth, lumpless. Lepolis, my favorite character from Lord of the Rings. This one has a darker quality to it. Pretty similar in my book, in my pudding book. Now this one right here, this one, is a strange consistency. Whoa, that'll grab you. I'm not familiar with. It's like ectoplasm. Like the, the um, It's sticky. It's, a vi it's very viscous. And slimy. It doesn't taste great either. What's it made of? Like This one know. looks like the first one. Thinner. It tastes like ice cream. Not great. I got a guess. I feel like it's an informed guess, but I just don't. I don't uh, know. Do you agree that number one tastes the best no matter what? Uh, I actually like the viscous nature of this. Ooh. I like the way it felt like a slug was in my mouth for a couple of seconds. Three, this is gonna be two, tough, but one. Yeah. It's gotta be this yep. one. Yep. You know it what? It could be this one. I know, that's why I'm gonna change my answer. It could be this one. Uh, it's 50 50 for me. No! No! It's in the first bowl! Yes. Uh, you got it! Yes! It's the best one! Pudding boy, you can't, you gotta what trust is your, this? your it's, instincts. It's that, that, is, is, boy. that is Signature Select by Safeway, and then the viscous one is 365 by Whole Foods, and then the last one is Kroger brand. Not bad, Kroger. They're doing Dang. something. In. Yeah, man, you shouldn't have done yeah, that. I, I, it's I, even just I, not. You know what? Have some pudding. I just thought, I just thought. The aftertaste is pretty similar. Yeah, you know what? I actually chose this one because of the sheen. I remember looking at you and you're, you'd be sitting in the kitchen just eating. I'd be like, look at the sheen on that pudding. But pudding boy's going after that sheen. <laughs> okay, string cheese. And the script is flipping a little bit because this was my go-to. When I did take my lunch to school, my mama always stuck some string cheese in there. I never, ever had string cheese. So I feel in, like at, at lunch or any time. I feel like I've got the advantage on this round, which if any of the previous rounds are an indicator, that means Link will get this one right. Hmm, that tasted good. It pulled nicely. I mean, I know not to be a biter. I know to be a puller. Do you wanna know? Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. You know me, I'm a little indulgent. When I was a kid, literally every time I got string cheese, when I was at home, I would get two. 
The first one, I would just eat real, real fast without <laughs> pulling it. The no one's surprised. The second one, I would peel. You had to do a twofer. It was wasteful, I know. I was a growing boy. Well, if you ate both of them, it wasn't wasteful. Man, they, everyone is nailing the the, the, the the stringiness. The third one, are you on the third one now? Mm -hmm. It's not nearly as tasty as the first two. Doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. It's a little harder too. These are smaller logs. This is, uh, this one's unrecognizable to me. I would say between one and four, I, we got the best flavors. Hmm. Oh my gosh, I, right. I am really, really, I'm at a crossroads here. I just gotta go with my favorite, um, cause I might not have had this until college. Three, two, one. It's either one or two. I can't, I honestly, I can't decide. I didn't, number two wasn't that great to me. I was just going with consistency and nostalgia and I only found it in one and two. The Kraft String Cheese is on plate number three. What? Really? The tasteless one? Well, they've- It's just bland. I think it was always bland. They've come along and they've added flavor over the years. Because kids aren't scared we weren't, of- We weren't ready for Flavorful it. cheese now, huh? So Who Link, thought? your favorite one was Kroger. And then mm, Kroger got balls. The second plate is O Organics from Vons, and lastly Ooh. is Happy Belly from Amazon. Oh, the Happy Belly brand. Very good, very good. My belly happy. As you can see, we can't. We are blindfolded because we're tasting Welch's, and there's apparently a visual difference that we may be able to pick up on. Now uh -huh. we were both Farley's fruit snacks guys. That's right. You turned me on to the Farley's, and I was allegiant to them. Of course, we we discovered on this show that Albanese is our favorite uh, brand of um, fruit snacks. Now, well, no, those are gummy bears. Those gummy, gummy bears aren't fruit snacks. Well, are uh, they? Yeah. Yes. I mean, what Am would I, they be well, if they were not their fruit flavored snacks? I don't know what. What is this? This is the. Thing. I'm blindfolded. I can't think. Um, oh, that's a weird shape, and it's kind of hard. Are you on number two? Because number one. I think is... fruit snacks have real fruit juice, and gummies have fruit flavoring. Okay. I think. I'm. The, the I, second honestly, ones are much more chewy. They don't bounce. They just your your tooth just sinks through it. I don't. I, I honestly don't know. What to go on here? Do you remember what Welch's fruit snacks were like? Yeah, because this, we also have those as snacks here in the snack drawer at the office. Number oh. three, your your teeth sink all the way through it too. Not a lot of bounce to it, is what you're saying? Mm-hmm. They're very good, they're very tasty. Where's the first one? The I'm last trying one? to get it out. Okay. Of my teeth. The last ones are bouncy. So the first ones and the last ones have bounce. Mm. You gotta eat multiple flavors just to get a good grip on it. You're going back into one too, huh? I'm coming to four. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Going back to one. Okay, where's my poker? Where's my poker? Okay. You, this the get very height dangerous. of your stabbers are, is too much for me. Please, politely, nicely, and slowly. Three, two, one. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> what? What was that? Was that your face? <sighs> yeah, it was my freaking face, man. Well, I was going slow. No, it was my. It was my hand. <laughs> I thought it was your face, dude. What is that? that? That's my my left hip flexor. <laughs> oh. If you're aiming for my Kroger's. Go back towards you. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, you can take your Bible. <laughs> the Welch's fruit snacks are in bowl number four. Yeah! Yeah! I thought it was that, but then I knew that it was not. Yeah. Until, but now I know that it is. The first are from Target, their market pantry. Then we that's have a, Great Value bad. by Walmart and First Street by Smart and Final. These are like dots. Yeah, but these, neither one of these are good, but uh, you said that's Target. Mm hmm Well, they, they give it a good run for their money. Well. Welkies. Man. Like, you're gonna have to anoint you get me to be the, school the boy. best schoolboy in shame. Dang it. 
In good mythical more. I thought today could be my day, y'all. I'll let you wear. I'll let you wear. I don't want it. The outfit. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, my name is Grace, and I'm studying new media at the University of Lethbridge, and we're studying Good Mythical Morning. It's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Oh, well, what are you learning? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd like uh, notes, I guess. Yeah, please send along your report. Click the top link to watch us match the crew member to their AIM username it's and aim. good aim. Yeah. You know, AOL instant message. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is going to land. During February, third degree annual plan purchases will receive their choice of one of the past 2021 quarterly items while supplies last. Mythicalsociety.com for details.